tends to, since we live very much in a consumerist society, uh, if one, the good life as defined by the consumer society is a, is a deadly trap. I mean, in, in a sense that uh, that good life can never be satisfied because it's nothing but a, uh, a kind of shallow satisfaction of needs which are very, in a sense, non-essential. So the good life for me uh, has always been, I was very aware of this very early on when I was young, it's always been uh, what is your level of authenticity, what are the real needs that are coming out of that, and is that level of authenticity able to express itself in one's own life as well as in one's relationship to society as a whole. So that the good, the good life in the, in the sense there, there, the good life is not defined by any specific form, but rather can take on form depending on the situation. It's always in a sense the, uh, an encounter with the, that aspect of yourself which is formless because it's uh, universal. Uh, it's capable of uh, moving in basically any direction. So the good life is means to say to be in touch with, the, with that source, which means to say you can be in touch with many aspects of society. That's why I don't have any problems being in many different cultures. Can you tell me a bit more about that source? Uh, this, this, this inner source. Well, this is the source that produces the, the different kinds of identity. So the good life presumes that you have a certain identity with a very specific meaning of what the good life is. So that source that's deep within uh, is the source which is able to under, understand the different identities and can really appreciate it because all these different identities are entry points to the same essence. Mm. So the, the key then, therefore, is to, to, to experience that place so that you can have a real conversation with the different identities of the world. You will not really understand another person if you sit at the level of your own identity. Then that can only be a limited perception of what the other person is. So if you are in your essence, so to speak, or whatever you want to call that, people here are calling it presence or that space of authenticity is another term that's being used, but it's a direct experience, not, not nothing conceptual about it, then you can move into, uh, into the different identities of the world. Okay. And in fact, appreciate those different identities because they give you a very enriched experience of what it means to be totally human. If I didn't experience, for example, the Arabic world, I, I would not be totally fully human. Nor if I didn't experience the Germanic world for that matter. Uh, because to be totally human is to come from a universal place. Yeah, we, we actually try to develop a process right now. Uh, in the Philippines, um, we discovered uh, that by, by moving to this question of what can create a better country, the only real source that that can be created is at this, this level of authenticity that we've been discussing so that the different identities of a country or a nation, uh, you can not learn how to deal with it in the process of creating uh, new possibilities for the country. So that, that is the entry point, so how do you create a better country, in our case, the Philippines, which is in a mess, as compared to Germany. <laughs> Maybe you have other kinds of garbage here, but <laughs> I, I uh, and ours is very so. clear, our garbage in the Philippines is very clear, you know, so... There's a lot of despair there and a lot of hopelessness and we're trying to find that level in, in, a, in one's experience that's, that goes beyond the hopeless, the sense of the identity, the created identity of hopelessness. Mm -hmm. Well, if I had a mentor, it is very, that's a very interesting question because uh, I was looking for a mentor but I never found one. So I, I always wondered uh, why I couldn't, I didn't find one. And I realized I had to, 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 um, to do a lot of things uh, out of my own inner experiences without relying in a sense on, on somebody, some, somebody else. But it, you know, it would have been good uh, in, in a sense to, to have encountered a mentor. It would have simplified the process. But on the other hand, <laughs> uh, without a mentor, you didn't know what was the limit. So in other words, then I, I found out that I was going to very deep territory, uh, which is way beyond already 
kind of common experience of, of people in society.